occipital bone. Our best view of occipital bone right now is from the inferior surface, and it's the purple guy in the picture, and it is the blue guy in rainbow marble, rainbow sponge. And obvious, the most obvious landmark in the occipital bone is what? The gigantic for Raymond and Magnum. For Raymond, huge, magnum, gigantic, no. For Raymond, whole, huge, magnum, gigantic, there it is. And what passes through for Raymond Magnum? That's where the spinal cord comes through. Now, the next really interesting um, and easy to find landmark on the occipital bone is these guys. What do they look like to you? What do you think is going to, what do you think those are going to be called? They're right here. And don't they kind of look like flat little places where we articulate bones? And it's true. Those are actually called the occipital condyles. Just like in the knee or in the, in the uh, femur, we had those condyles, lateral and medial condyles, where we articulated with the tibia. It's, it's very similar. Who is the occipital bone articulating with? C1. Our vertebrae, C1 is the, is the first vertebra that actually articulates with the skull. And what was that vertebra actually called? Not axis, which has a little pointy thing to roll around, but it's atlas, which is the one that can roll around axis. So atlas is holding the whole sky up on its shoulders. My children know all about that Greek myth because they know all about every Greek myth, really. What's up with Greek myths? But these are my occipital condyles, foramen magnum. Okay, we have the occipital protuberance, right? Where is that thing? Internal and, oh wait, the external occipital protuberance, also known as the inion. That sounds cool. You can actually feel that thing. I think that's why I left it in there. And it's found right here. You can feel it. It's a bump. And then we have neutral lines. We have um, superior, which would be here. If we turned our skull upside down, that would be superior. And inferior, neutral lines. And we have muscles that attach to those guys, and that's probably why I included them in our list. There are a couple of canals that we will look at, so we'll come back to the occipital bone in a second. But um, I don't know. I feel like occipital bone is pretty straightforward. Next is sphenoid. Straightforward? Not so much.